nifer wahanol ysgolion o Ardros Cymru wedi dod yma heddi. Y pobl i'n ni'n cynrychioli wlad gwahanol a ni ymwneud drafod dwy wahanol cynnig, un ynglyn am Cynesu Blini Deiang a'r llall am um, sefyllfa ariannol economaidd o fewn gwledydd Ewropeaidd. Um, basically this is a debate where we question two motions after we've made a speech on them. It's been a great experience so far, debating properly in the centre with microphones, the works, it's lots of fun and it's definitely given me a better understanding of politics and how foreign policy works. Good morning to you all. I'm um, Rinvalchan Vodka here, I'm very pleased to be with you this morning. Um, I'm delighted to, so, to see so many young people who've come from all parts of Wales, um, representing all, uh, uh, all those countries. Um, so today's event is the eighth um, mock council of the European Union that has taken place in Wales. And it, I hope it does provide you with this opportunity to debate with students from other schools and colleges and to vote on key issues affecting the European Union. So you have got uh, an important and powerful role to play today. So today is about raising awareness of the EU, the important topical issues that we face together, giving you a taste of, of how the EU makes decisions in practice. Um, so I'd now like to invite Oscar Glan and Tassel. I'd like to invite the European Commission to present motion number one. Over to you. Can you get in you the light in the European vote and vote a geishal night policy coveretal and map push at the target of Pimtek, Kant or Estoniad, Mount Athlariata, New Anti Quitter, Erbin Duvilla, Three Deg. Can you travel day thy Hunglatal, Athwedal, are now it in South and Harris do the voiding? Dialch. Okay, if I may go first of all now to Austria. The Austrian government agree with the motion stated and believe that the EU should adopt a more ambitious policy. With the, with the cooperation of the European Union members, we can go forward with the new 50% greenhouse gas reduction target by 2030 and achieve great reductions in Europe's large carbon footprint. The Austrian Climate Change Assessment Report in 2014 says that the average temperatures in Austria have risen by almost 2 degrees since 1880 as compared to the global average increase of 0 0.85 degrees. The report also warns that the increased efforts of the Austrian Union to, prom to promote energy efficiency aren't enough to reduce climate change, so Europe also needs to adapt more to these changes. Nivith posib in Eve Oglad, Magir Smidjadama. Rodim and Amvalchia and in Kuntlin Partneri I Thamgal Hedel, and Sluither Masirai, Yavail, Ardreen, Arain, Hasler Moyav, Save Travnidiath. Margueslianti Glidiant Gehoidis, a veal kilometer, Olonai Bakia, and Prosector Hani Kair, and Adloer Hien Fernigroid, Igid Wathia, Igre Bead, Moygurth. My treaty Gacant, Undina Sedion, and Guithia, and Gladid Cavagos. Ac fell i endefnyddio ceir fel modd o drafnidiaeth draws finiol yn ddyddiol. Ac felly ychydig iawn y gallu wneud i atal y fath allyron. Diolch. We are against the motion. In 2012, Portugal used roughly 80 million tonnes of gas emissions. By 2030, we are aiming to reach roughly to 50 million. We won't succeed in reducing our emissions by 50%. Um, emissions are primarily industry, energy, transportation and related sectors. However, we have set a target for 45% of our electricity to be produced by alternate emissions. Having already reduced our gas emissions by introducing solar, panel, w solar power, wind power, hydropower and geothermal power, we will veto if special circumstances aren't available. Uh, it's been interesting to see how the opinions vary between each of the countries and it's been interesting to see how each school has put forward these opinions. For instance, some schools have chosen to go through the diplomatic language channel, whereas others have just got their points across as quickly as they could uh, in order to start debating. I think it's very difficult to hear. I think it's very difficult to hear about the football, and I think it's very difficult to hear about the football, and I think it's very difficult to hear about the football, and I think it's very difficult to hear about the I can tell you that the motion number one there were 11 member states in favour, 15 member states against, and one abstention, uh, which means that the motion is defeated. I'd now like to move on to 
motion number two, which is now set up um, behind me. So over to uh, Commission. Makanik da in the way, the policy kikidal, so if Chathi Agwathian Kohoivis, Ibo Guard, Sin Elo da Avdal Euro, Galerioli in Ganolog, Gana in Deb Europeaith, DL. Thank you, Finland, please. Huamenta, good morning. Firstly, we would like to express our support for the current fiscal management of the EU. We very much respect the second motion, however, our nation takes an <coughs> alternative opinion. The worst of the financial crisis may be behind us, but Europe's economic troubles are far from over. We desperately need growth to create jobs and balance public finances. Without growth and jobs, we risk witness witnessing more social problems and growing disappointment with the political establishment. In Finland, we see economic competitiveness as the only way of preserving and improving. These beliefs, therefore, lead our nation into believing that the EU should not become a federation. Good morning, Labasaitas Boreda. My Lithuania and Valchiaun in Boni Wadi Aminog Ardalar Euro are a Kentavoyona Releni. Val Glad Vach, Nidir Process where he boarded her problem. And, but I shall address Lithuania and Krasawi Travodiethe, Tia Gatanod, worth Val Hon. And then Wadi Gosteria das Blugiadai. Today has definitely made me consider going into politics a lot more than I had in the past. I definitely feel this is important to young people because in the end of the day we're the ones who are going to be going on to uptake the policies and we need to show an interest in it to actually take it up. I think this experience is absolutely vital because we're the next generation. So we're the ones who are going to be taking up the mantle of international politics in the future. I definitely think everyone should try and get involved in this sort of thing because it's just amazing to get the opportunity to sort of experience what it's like and to get an insight into how it works. I think we I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I